This is probably going to be a really hard video to make. Today marks the one year anniversary of when my best friend, like my buddy who never left my side, passed away. Chihuahua Piggy and I a year ago today on Jan or not January, July 21st, 2015. It was 14 years old. I got him when he was almost a year old. And when I was so sick in the hospital, he, he was my recovery buddy. He never left my side. When I was so sick during that time, he just sat by me and never left and made sure I was okay. In 2014, I had my foot surgery done and I noticed he was getting sick. He was starting to have accidents in the house and he was just drinking water profusely, like nonstop. And it kept getting worse, so I checked him in. May, I think, of 2015 for diabetes and whatnot, and the only thing that was wrong, a little bit elevated, was his liver function. And then, last summer in July, he injured his leg, and he had a history of injuring his leg, because he had a torn ACL meniscus in his back left leg. <laughs> And I would give him an aspirin to, you know, help with the inflammation and stuff. And usually it went away. The entire week had passed. And nothing had changed. It was actually getting worse. And he, he couldn't step on it. He wouldn't let me touch it. He was getting really restless. You could just see his whole front of his chest was expanding. And he was basically wilting away in the back. So he wasn't, he wasn't, um... Digesting his food was going right through him. He was basically wasting away. And <laughs> it made the dreaded. <laughs> I knew with everything I had been through in my life. It was my turn to take care of him. I had to do what was best for him. He was in so much pain. I couldn't... I couldn't take the pain away from him. That just felt so bad. My dog that was my companion. He was basically screaming for me to help him. <laughs> so, I made the dreaded phone call to the vet on July 20th of 2015, and they could have done it that day, but I said no, because I had to work that day, and so they did it on the 21st in the afternoon. And the last day of his life, I had to work until 3, and his appointment was at 3.30, so I didn't even get to spend time with him on his I gave him like 20 puppy treats before he left. I took pictures. He snored in my lap all the way to the vet, not knowing. When we got to the vet, they had a blanket on the table, and I knew it was real, and I, was, I didn't want to do it. But I had to do what was best for him. So I got him uncomfortable and I, I stood by his head and I was petting his head and letting him know it was okay, Mama was right here, I wasn't gonna leave. And he was gonna finally be not in pain anymore. And right after I said that, he looked at me and just gave me the most 
relaxing expression like he was saying thank you. Thank you for helping me. I told him I loved him and he was going to go see his brothers. As soon as the vet said there was no more feet, I fell to the floor. <laughs> the hardest, hardest day of my entire life. But I had to, I had to take care of him. I couldn't let him suffer anymore. So Piggy passed away a year ago today on July 21st. And this was the picture I took of him right before he went to the vet to be put to sleep. And then this is his box. And this is Piggy right in here. It's been a hard year. I mean, Pig was there for everything, the good and the bad. And this year when I got promoted as supervisor, he wasn't there to wait his tail. <sighs> you know, I've had regrets. Uh, I've wondered what would have happened if he would have still been here. I know what the outcome would have been. He would have died a painful death. <laughs> I had to do what was best for him. I do feel guilty. I just hope he isn't mad at me. <laughs> and I hope he knows that I loved him so much that I was ready to let him go. <laughs> Dogs are not just dogs, they're family. They are your family. <sighs> Piggy, I miss you, and I love you, and I wish I could hug you one more time. I'll see you on the other side.